you guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Operation Krabby Patty as part of the SpongeBob SquarePants LP Marathon. In this episode, we're going to be saving Mr. Krabs' money as we finish off the right side storyline. <laughs> Arr, swab the deck, walk the plank, wash me money. The amazing Mr. Absorbency! Oh! We got sort of a callback to Ark here. Yar! Look alive, SpongeBob! The Flying Dutchman's after me money! Prepare the bubble cannons! Aye, aye, Captain! Fire at will! Who's will? No! Fire the ghosts before they get me money! So basically, for saving money, you have to stop the pirates from stealing a treasure using bubble cannons. So basically, you just have to go back and forth between four cannons firing at uh, pirates who happen to already be carrying Mr. Krabs' treasures. And so, for each, in each uh, pirate you catch, you get uh, 25 points on the first on the first stage, as usual. Uh, but as you can see, we've already got the pirates coming towards the ship, but you can't actually catch them until they actually grab treasure. So you can't. Yeah. So if you if you fire at them beforehand, you actually lose points. We got some down here who actually stole the uh, treasure already, so we can start catching them. So anyways, yeah, this is the, this is the last minigame, and this is the only instance where the game actually is kind of pretty, pretty uh, I will say that you, you play, uh, saving money at the end of both storylines, and also, the Flying Dutchman makes an appearance here as a Emmy that, sh that you get points for defeating. You have to actually fire him three times, I do believe. And also you get six rounds of ammo with each, uh... Um, with each bubble, uh, Bubbles. bubble jar. Fire. But basically that's all there is to it. So you just look out for the Flying Dutchman and, you know, fire him whenever you see him. But otherwise, just gotta wait for the pirates to grab treasure. Bubbles. You will lose points if they make it back to their, uh, you know, back to the pile where they, st where the stolen treasure ends up at. Which is, uh, it's all screen on the bottom, but on the top screen you can kind of see it. There's, uh, basically they reach these points, um, will lose points, and then they'll just reset and head back to you uh, grabbing some more treasure from the ship. Bubbles. Mr. Krabs just kind of stands there at his steering wheel doing absolutely nothing. He could be, like, you know, maneuver maneuvering the ship or something Bubbles. to avoid the pirates, but no, he just keeps the ship sta stationary so that they can come and just grab the, grab the treasure cheerfully, you know. But anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, I believe we got all the pirates on this side of the ship, so we just need to look out over here. Yep, here we go. And there we go, we win the first stage. Great job, SpongeBob. So yeah, this is the first uh, SpongeBob game to have voice acting in it, and unfortunately this begins uh, the, streak, the streak of not having the right voice actor for Mr. Krabs, because uh, Clancy Brown, as far as I know, is a very expensive, expensive actor to get, basically. So that's why you're not going to hear Clancy Brown playing as Mr. Krabs for most of the SpongeBob games, because he's a very expensive actor that demands a lot of money to get. So, with all that said, get used to hearing this voice actor playing as Mr. Krabs. Actually, it's not. It's going to be a different voice actor most of the time, but with the case of the SpongeBob uh, AW games, the AW games PC hexology, as I call it. And this is the first of the hexology. Bubbles. And uh, so yeah, with the sponge with the PC Last games away. hexology, I believe they use the same voice acting yeah. Mr. Krabs throughout all of them. I'm pretty sure they don't use Cl uh, Clancy Brown. Or is it Clancy Brown? Oh crap! I lost points there. Bubbles. I don't remember the actor's name. Jeez. <laughs> Draw a blank here at this point. I'm pretty sure it's Clancy Brown, but. It, if it isn't, I will put a title here to correct myself, but, yeah, assuming they don't, um, I'm pretty sure they, they use the same voice actor across the entire Hexology, the AW game. Of course, there are obviously Spongebob games later on down here that don't use Mr. Krabs, which is easier than trying to replace Clancy Brown at all. Okay. Honestly, I don't really have a strategy for this. I kind of just go for go, switch between, swap between sides 
hoping to catch pirates in the act of stealing the treasures. Uh, pretty sure I think I cleared off the side. Yep. There we go. Great job, SpongeBob. This is one of those mini games where you don't have uh, more pirates to get with each round. It's just the eight pirates with all the three, all the stages. Um, the only difference is that pirates move faster as the time moves faster in the later stages. That's the only difference. So, but that just makes it easier for you to catch them as they get the as they start stealing the treasure. So we're already halfway through. Nine thirty seconds in here. Thirty fast seconds, I might add. Oh crap, they're too far away. Well, maybe. Ah, oh, dang it! Crap. Okay. Uh, let's try. Oh, geez. Yeah. See, see how fast these guys are. And honestly, getting the anchor is kind of pointless because if they don't have treasures for you to catch them uh, catching, then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of them being frozen. You just kind of sit there waiting while, while you're wasting time. So, I would. This is one of those cases where I would not recommend using the anchor, actually. Because it kind of does more harm than good in this particular minigame. But yeah, like I said, uh, in both storylines, saving money is always going to be the last minigame that you play. There we go. And we just won the third stage, so now we just have the bonus stage ahead of us. So we'll see if I can win it or not, but it's not very likely. But, you know, miracles can happen. Mm, Do -do 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 -do. Wow, you get 100 points for each treasure here. I guess it's because uh, in, in uh, Who Cut the Cheese there was more MacGuffins to get, so... I didn't get to... Oh, see, I just collected the anchor there, so I can get... This part right here. Maybe some over here. Sometimes it's hard to tell though. Like if there be if there if you have stuff that's in the foreground's blocking you, you can't tell if the pirate has the treasure or not. So it's hard to tell there. Crap! It moves so fast. It's kind of difficult to catch them sometimes. Yeah, the speed of their animations does not match the speed of them. How fast they're moving. Oh. Dude, get some. Ah, I had a chance to get a clock there. Why didn't I get the clock? Okay, here we go. Seriously? Jeez. I am getting outsped by these pirates, I swear. Go. Yeah, we're not gonna win this so well. Bonus stage, not a big deal. Get this guy before it's too late. Oh, crap. <laughs> Great job, SpongeBob! Thanks, Mr. Krabs. I've been trying to warn you all day about Robo Krabs and the missing Krabby Patties from the Krusty Krab! Robo Krabs? Hmm. Sounds like one of Plankton's <laughs> college educated plans! <laughs> what? How dare they laugh at me! I did go to college! Press the fire button! Well, they did what you told them to do. Save the Krabby Patties! No! I'll be back with a new plan. An even more college-educated plan! <laughs> Well, we'll see you in the very next episode, y'all, because this is the very end of the right side storyline of Operation Krabby Patty. Yeah, it doesn't tell you the exact voice actor, it just says Spongebob as Spongebob and so on, so... I don't know. I kind of wish they did tell the actual voice actors here, but whatever. Yeah, I, uh... Don't really have that much to say other than what I've already said, uh... We're just going to be doing the same format with the wrong side, so... Yeah, not much to say there. Plus, the credits go by really fast, actually. That's really it right there. Just the cast, kind of. <laughs> oh, look! Oh! Ah! <laughs> I love the
Bikini Bottom. Okay, so that was the one thing that you guys did actually want me to replay this game for, or at least, uh, you know, have bonus episodes for, is showing different characters at the end of the credits, because, yeah, depend sometimes uh, there's gonna be different characters, there's like, there's a lot of different uh, cutscenes that can play at the end of the uh, credits showing different characters playing the game. And we saw Plankton there was using an Atari 2600 controller for to play this game, so he's playing Saving Money, so... Yeah, it's kind of a fun little thing there. And with all that, we are done with the right side. Hello, me boy! Anyone want to dance? Are you insane? I like you, SpongeBob. Give me the patty! Just a quick little look at all the high scores I got. So we're gonna go back to my menu here. So, um, anyways, this has been episode 3. I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but, you know, next episode where we take on the wrong side uh, plotline. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.